Can I present? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you stop the screening? Uh, yes. Stop, uh, Kripa, your screen. stop your yes, screen here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tariq. Yes, sir. Can I present? Okay, Dr. Shubhodi presenting, then is okay. Yeah, okay. Dr. Shubhodi, I'll... Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Everybody, please uh, go to mute. For not presenting. Yes, sir. Shubhodi, sir, yes, I'm uh, sorry. for the interest of time, uh, you know, uh, I mean, your take-home messages are always very, very... Pertinent. Am I, am I would like to take that home. So, uh, teleophthalmology is very important for all of us. Is my screen uh, is visible? We, yeah, yeah. Your screen is very visible. Uh, thank you, it, thank uh, you, Dr. Tariq and Professor Ahmad, giving me the opportunity. So, I thank AIOS, IOC for this grand program. And I thank the OSB to give me the opportunity to speak in the Bangladesh Forum. And uh, I don't have any financial interest in this program. Community, I can, Indian perspective, I will be speaking on Indian perspective. So why do we need community eye care? As you know, in India, 45 million in India are visually impaired and 12 million are totally blind. And one fourth of the world's population of blind are in India. Majority of them are needlessly blind because of course they are not diagnosed early. And 80% of these people, they live in rural areas. Uh, so we will speak about the universal eye care for all. So Buddhist, Buddhist, Am I able? No, you are audible, but your slide is not moving and it is not in uh, the full screen mode either. Full screen, sir. Is it a... no, full is it screen, screen now? It is not full screen, sir. Make it full screen, sir. Oh, there might be some uh, issues then. Then I think, uh, yeah, no, it is gone. Now it is? Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, full screen. Yes, yes. Carry on, sir. Okay. Carry on, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So uh, we speak about the universal life care for all, but the patients in India are very many and look at the various locations. Equipment and instruments are limited. Doctors are even more limited. Carry on, sir. You're okay. audible. Yeah, shortage of the two issues, most of the shortage of doctors and also inadequate infrastructure in our country. So, as you know, India is a diversity, country of diversity, and the geographical location plays a major role. And also, not on every nook and corner of our country is easily accessible. You can see the photos in the down. And there is one ophthalmologist per one lakh population in our country, and 80% of them live in the urban areas. And 80% of healthcare is also available in the urban areas only. But 80% of people live in the rural areas. So thus, there is a lot of advancement technology. Why don't we utilize this technology for the treatment of these 80% of people in the rural areas? So this concept called the teleophthalmic come into existence. Teleophthalmic allowed clinicians to provide quality healthcare outside of clinics through digital technology that's improving access to medical care, patient outcomes and overall patient satisfaction. So this is the teleauthentic concept, a mobile van with the following equipment, I'll show you the equipment, they go to the rural areas, they screen the patient and send the data, images mostly, to the best, best hospital where they are integrated. So these are the instruments, they are portable instruments which are carried by the this mobile van. And usually a local doctor or optometrist Ophthalmic assistant, trained health workers were utilized to take these photographs to transfer the images to the base hospital. The teleothons can, uh, can be utilized in various ocular conditions. Uh, all these conditions can be utilized, including the uh, diabetes, retinopathy, ROP, glaucoma, even refractive errors too. So objectives of teleophthalmology is to make eye care service available, accessible and available by the reducing travel cost and time by the patients and to enable people at remote areas to have access to the specialized and modern eye care facilities. It has got a lot of advantages. These are the advantages. I don't want to tell everything, but I can say that we can avoid unnecessary referrals and we can educate the people in the rural areas too for the health, uh, health awareness of the program, I mean about the blindness. So now there are a lot of new additions have come to um, in the digital technology. They are the artificial intelligence, 5G and metaverse. These can be added to teleophthalmology to, to give a better picture. 
So 5G technology now it is almost available in our country and it gives a much faster speed of data transmission and lower latency. And of course, metaverse teleophthalmology is still it is in the infancy stage. There's a virtual clinics which can be uh, placed in the rural areas and the ophthalmologist sitting in the urban areas, they can treat the patients. Teleophthalmology is the future. ATM. Teleophthalmology ATM is a one-stop digital touch point integrated machine designed to diagnose the disease, deliver primary care in the early stage of the disease. And this can be installed in public places like the railway station, public the airport and public and markets where the patient can go to the I mean, the ATM with a minimum fee can be examined and given the diagnosis whether it's a referable or non-referable disease he is having. So take home message, I can say teleophthalmy is the only uh, technology now at the, it can be uh, present at the doorstep. So it's the only solution for the patients who otherwise not have access to an eye care professional to be screened and treated earlier at the doorstep by paramedics to prevent permanent visual complications. So now we achieve universal eye care for all. So this is the Teleopter Society of India. This is our governing body. And I request all of my colleagues to become a member of TOSI. The website is tosi.org.in. Similarly, we plan to have a South Asian Teleopter Society. If my friends from Bangladesh, from Sri Lanka, from Nepal, they're agreeing. I think we should start this program. The SARC Academy of Thalmati countries, you can involve them, integrate them, producing a Satos, that is South Asian Telephone Society. So thank you very much for giving the opportunity.